So admittedly, this can be a little confusing at first, but you're only allowed to have one website per ad group in Google Ads. And they're very strict about this, and it's for good reason, because if you have multiple websites in an ad group, then the tracking is going to be all skewed all over the place, and it's going to be really difficult for Google Ads to figure out what's happening when somebody clicks on a uh, an ad goes to a website, converts across two different websites in one ad group. It's just too much to handle, I guess. So there's good reason for it. But if you look at their actual website, they have a kind of a breakdown here that makes it a little bit more straightforward. So w these are examples that would not work. So you have like one, this would be one ad group and you would have google.com, adwords.com, google.co.fr, which is France, google.co.uk, which is the UK. Those are technically four different websites. And if you tried to go and put those four websites in different ads in one ad group, so we're just looking at one ad group up here, um, you would get an error message saying, you know, basically you can only have one ad group, one website per ad group. However, there are ways to get around this. So this example is fine where you can do google.com, 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 and google.com forward slash ads. There's also one other thing that they don't really mention in here, which is um, subdomains. So a subdomain is technically still the same website. It just has to have the same base URL. So like google.com, you could have help.google.com forward slash ads that's still google.com right where you run into issues is if you start switching out the base url here or the ending of the url because that's technically a new url if you have .co.uk versus .com so as long as the base url is the same then you're going to be just fine and i found an example of this i just searched for plumbers in los angeles and these websites just look normal. Uh, Rotor Rooter is showing an example here where they're going to their Long Island. I don't know why they would be showing a why it would be Long Island water experts, <laughs> but either way, uh, this is the one where they're using a subdomain. So they have la.pacificplumbingteam.com and then some stuff after that. If you open up that URL, you get this landing page where it's kind of specifically designed for people looking for help with plumbing, plumbing problems. And this is their landing page for Google Ads. It's a little bit different than their full website, which has links off to a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, but technically, they could send traffic to their website and to this subdomain. So they could be advertising to Pacific Plumbing Team uh, PacificPlumbingTeam.com and LA.PacificPlumbingTeam.com. They could advertise both of those URLs in the same uh, ad group without any issues. So you can see we've added get.example.com and we could also have example.com in here. So the way around that is to set up subdomains. If you need to have like, you know, a uh, an ad in an ad group that goes to a specific set of information then another ad in the ad group that goes to another set of information that looks like two different websites the way you would do that is through a subdomain um, typically because that way you can kind of separate everything out the other thing to consider here is a lot of people they'll be coming in setting up Google Ads and they'll be doing it for two separate companies and typically the best way to do that is to set up separate Google Ads accounts for each company so long as you have separate billing information for each company. If you use the same billing info in here for two different companies, Google's going to think someone stole your credit card information and is using it in a different account and they're going to suspend both of your accounts. So you would need to have a company card to put on file in each Google Ads account. But that's typically the way you'd want to do it just because it's going to keep everything separated. And if something happens with one account, you still have the other account that's running, which is nice. That being said, um, I see a lot of times where people have four or five companies they're advertising in one account. That's totally fine. That's not necessarily a violation of Google Ads policies. They're just not going to allow you to advertise multiple different websites in one ad group, right? So 
you can definitely advertise multiple websites in one campaign, just not in one ad group. So I hope you found that helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. And just drop your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries, and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue, like this one here. And really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.